Good morning, everyone. Today, we're going to be talking about a big change that Sega has made that is super, super beneficial for my free to play players out there. But before we jump into all of that, if you're new to the channel, I upload NGS content daily. So if you do play this game, I would really appreciate a subscribe as it really helps out the channel. Anyway, without further ado, let's begin the video. Now, before we start the video, a big shout out to Kagarisu because they were the ones that actually pointed this out to me on Discord as well as my YouTube comments. And I was like, holy crap. And I was absolutely mind blown. So what exactly did Sega do? Well, when we go to the shop over here and you go to the AC and SG shop under Star Jam shop, you're going to notice right at the very top, there is the auto sell items for 30 days that cost 400 Star Gems. This is incredibly useful. They didn't have this before. It was like 15 days for 400 Star Gems and it was really stupidly expensive. Now they've changed it to 30 days, which is much, much better and at 400 Star Gems. Now I'm sure some of my more observant viewers probably can see this one max next to it and you're like caro you can only purchase this one time per account for 400 star gems and then what do you do afterwards well if you scroll down a little bit there's actually auto sell items 30 days s for 500 star gems so the very first time you purchase this it's only going to cost you 400 star gems for that month and then after that if you still want to purchase auto sell you can still purchase it but at 500 star gems every single month and the reason why this is so so freaking important is because of all of the PSE farming. The number one biggest problem about farming in Dex Base, as well as farming in Ritem Al Noth, as well as farming in the Crimson Realm, was because you got a lot of random trash loot. And if you don't have auto sell, it doesn't convert all of those trash items into Meseta. And on top of all of that, when you do use auto sell, all the items that get auto sold also benefit from your Meseta booster. So let's say it's PSO today, let's say that you pop a tribe boost, you pop some food buffs, some alliance buffs and some region mag buffs and all of that stuff and you stack a bunch of n meseta earn boosters going on when you have auto sell enabled you benefit from all of that from all the items that get auto sold and because of that people who had auto sell benefited a lot more and were able to make a lot more meseta versus the regular player which did not have auto sell and so that is the number one biggest change that they've made which is now super super accessible because this means that all of my free to play friends out there are able to benefit from auto sell every single month or whenever you want to farm. Now, the next question I know a lot of people are going to be asking is, Caro, is this sustainable? I need 400 star gems every single month for the very first month, but after that, I need 500 star gems every single month to maintain this auto sell so that I can actually farm and take full benefit. Well, I'm here to tell you that it's actually really easy to sustain. So under normal circumstances, so let's say there are no campaigns going on, there's no compensation, there's no event shop, there's no PSO today. If we take all of that out of the equation and we just look at the permanent features in the game, every single week you can earn 175 star gems. And this is just the permanent features. If we include PSO today, if we include all of the different campaigns going on, such as the Growthment 2 exchange where we can actually get our beta reactor as well as an additional 10 star gems every single day, it's super, super easy to hit 200 star gems every single week minimum, all right? So as long as you are playing the game actively and you know what to do and you watch my uh, pre-maintenance checklist videos, you will know where to get all the star gems and you will do your weekly trade-ins every single week and get 200 star gems per week. It's actually super, super easy, super accessible. And because you get 200 star gems per week, well, there's four weeks in a month, so you get 800 star gems and if you're making 800 star gems a month you know 400 star gems doesn't seem so bad it's like half of what you earn whatever it's not a big deal but remember this is only for the very first month then from the second month onward it's going to cost you 500 star gems yes it's going to cost you a little bit more but it is sustainable 
And on top of that, you also have the choice if you know that, hey, maybe I'm not really feeling like playing PSO2 that much this month. You know, I'm not going to be grinding super hardcore. You don't need to buy the auto sell. You can just leave that in the back burner or you could just buy it and just not consume the actual ticket. And then, uh, you know, you just have auto sell ready sitting there whenever you need it. Then you can pop it when you decide to go really hard on farming. Maybe a seasonal event kicks in and you need seasonal points. So, you know, oh, I'm going to be PSE burst farming in order to make raw Masetta. And, you know, at the same time, I'm going to make seasonal points and all these other things. So you're killing multiple birds with one stone. So, you know, you don't have to purchase this every single month because keep in mind that there is no purchase limit here. As you can see, limited edition items, infinite, limited time items infinite so technically if you have the star gems you can buy 99 copies of this auto sell 30 days if you want but you know that's gonna cost you 49,500 star gems which uh, I don't have but nevertheless you have the choice right so basically the TLDR over here is hey if you are gonna be farming like crazy and you know that hey I need a ton of Masetta because maybe you want some item from the eminence and shadow collaboration and you're like oh man I'm gonna go really crazy hardcore farming like you know five hours a day at deck space i'm gonna be making all this money so that i can buy all the cosmetic items or maybe you still need more money because you're preparing yourselves for the shangri-la frontiers there's a ton of different ways that you can approach this but it's just really really nice that they've buffed it from 15 days to 30 days and not increase the cost. They actually decrease the cost for one of them at 400 star gems over here in order to get your 30 days auto sell for the very first time so that you know how it works. However, something super, super important is after you buy it and after you consume the ticket that you go to systems over here and auto sell drop items and you actually need to toggle this on. All right. By default, it's going to be off because you didn't have the ticket and you couldn't use it before. You need to toggle it on and you need to set what items you want to sell all right these are just my settings um you don't have to copy my settings you know it's, it's just how i like to do things especially with like the silver prim swords golden prim swords and the armors and stuff like that like i don't need any of these and another thing to keep in mind is the cacheable items so this is the beta reactors and the alpha reactors and the snolls and all of the other valuables those items do not benefit from your end Masetta boost, all right? So let's say, for example, we have a beta reactor that we just bought over here. If we picked up a beta reactor on the floor, which is impossible, but you know, for example, if we did, we would just get a hundred thousand. It does not multiply the extra 10% and Masetta earned from over here because those are valuable items. However, what will benefit from this 10% and Masetta earned is all of the random weapons that we sell. So, you know, the golden prim swords, the silver prim swords, the armors, the random weapons that we pick up, everything that is auto sold, all that gear, does benefit from the end Masetta earned, which is why it's super important to have auto sell if you are planning to farm a lot in combat zones, because you will earn significantly more Masetta with auto sell, as well as maintaining a high end Masetta earn boost. Now, for my friends who are wondering, where on earth do you get all of these boosters? You know, N Masetta earn plus 25%, N Masetta earn plus 50%. This is massive. Where do you get all of this? Well, it's actually from your mission pass. You know, the mission passes that you've been doing, we've got like 34 seasons of mission passes already. You literally get all of these N Masetta earn boosters from the mission pass itself. So uh, here, tier 14, we got a 50%. So you literally just progress through the mission pass like what you've always been doing, and you're going to get a bunch of good and that way when you do decide to farm in a combat zone you're not leaving Masetta on the table and you're fully maximizing and you're earning as much as possible which does end up becoming a big deal in the long run especially on PSO today that's probably an even greater time to farm because you get the extra rare drop rate boost remember rare drop rate boost increases the amount of items you get and remember with auto sell the more items we get regardless if they're trash items or good items we will convert them into Masetta we'll convert convert all those extra trash items that we're getting into Masetta. So in turn, you make more Masetta. And then we have the end Masetta earn booster on top of that. So it's like a multiplier with a multiplier with a multiplier. So the more boosts you have, 
the greater the amount of Masetta you're going to make. I know a lot of people have been farming in combat zones and they're like, Caro, how are you making two, three million an hour? I don't understand. I farm and I make like 500k an hour. Well, it might be because you don't have auto sell. It might be because you haven't boosted your end Masetta earned. It might be because your rare drop rate is relatively low. There are a ton of variables, a ton of ways to maximize your profits when you're farming in PSE combat zones. And another very big benefit in farming in PSE combat zones is you are making raw Masetta, which means you are not at the mercy of having a three day shop pass to put items on the market and selling them to players in order to make the money. It's just boom, raw Masetta in your bank, ready to go. So you farm a couple hours a day, you do that for a week, for a month, and boom, you can immediately just buy whatever items you want. You're not at the mercy of the volatility of the player market. Special thanks to all the members for supporting the channel. It really means a lot to me. Thank you again. But yeah, that's all I wanted to cover in today's video. Hopefully you guys found it helpful. If you did, I would appreciate a like and a subscribe. And I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye.